Hi, I'm Izami. I'm Maimon. And in our last video, we showed you how to take the cover off of the, of the well. And then we took out the entirety of the pump. As you can see, it's around 75 feet long and it's really big. And in this video, we're going to check the entire 75 feet to find the break in the wire. And we're going to show you how to fix that break. So normally we would have to check the entirety of this wire to find the break but my mom got a head start on us and then she found the break already and so it turns out it is over here and so we're gonna have to fix that and then afterwards we're going to use this multimeter to check to make sure there's continuity afterwards. As you can see we already cut the wire and what we're doing now is we're stripping off the rubber so that we can reconnect the wire and then we'll cover it back up later okay so this goes here we can put the wire in here and then we close it to get a good grip on it and now we can just strip the wire so as you can see we finally got it separated so now we just want to get this thing off you play. Is it pliant? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Alright. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Okay. So as you can see, we temporarily connected the wire back together, and now we're gonna go downstairs and use the multimeter to oh, check to make sure there's continuity in it. And I have to go back to work, so this will be my last part in the video. You got the salami. Right. Salami was always the more well spoken of us two. I'm the more charismatic one though. So check me out in my vlogs. But Zami is better at the tutorials. Sure. Alright, peace out. Okay. Red. Oh, there's continuity. Okay. Okay. So all we're gonna do is now we have this special sheet heat heat shrink uh, material. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna clamp the two wires together first. So we first put it into this connector and then we're gonna clamp it down. And once we have it clamped down, we're going to cover it with this, with this heat shrink. And then we're gonna use heat and then it will create a seal. But the heat shrink we have right now is a bit too thin so we're gonna go out and buy a thicker one all right so i'm filling in for Azami because he's eating right now and i've just finished work originally the plan was we we're going to uh repair the break in the wire and we're going to seal it with this uh heat ring, uh uh heat shrink tube but because this whole system is so old you know it's been 30 years we decided and since I'm going to be using this house in the future, we decided it, it would be a better option in the long term to just completely replace the wire. Which is why we went to the plumbing store and we actually bought new wiring, 75 feet. And we were pretty lucky because it turns out that someone else bought this 75 uh, feet length of uh, wiring and they decided they didn't want it so they returned it. So we actually got a reduced price. So. Uh, we're going to replace this entire length with this new wire and then we're going to uh, we have this kit right here that we're going to use to repair. Alright so uh, points of clarification. The reason we were lucky is not because we got a reduced price but because as you can see here the wall wire was actually supposed to be we have to get 500 feet but we don't need 500 feet because as you can see the hose is not that long. But luckily someone else returned the rest of their wire, so we were able to take just 75 feet. And I'm guessing that if you get 75 feet, then it's reduced price. But uh, another thing is that this wall wire is special. It's not like other wiring because this one is submersible, which means it can actually go inside water. So that's why it's called wall wire, because that means it, it, it can go in the water. And finally, uh, this right here is the pump. What's special about this pump is that it actually has three wires. Right? Am I gonna lift it? Oh uh, no. Right here you can see there's three wires. I was gonna lift it but I don't have my gloves on right now. But if you trace 
through the pump, I mean through the hose, you can actually see that there's only two wires going out. These two wires right here are actually live wires. They're both 110 volts uh, for a total of 220, 240. Now that I say it out loud, it doesn't make sense. But 240 volts goes through these two wires. And actually this last third wire is supposed to be a ground wire. This right here, this bundle has three wires. So we're gonna be able to reuse this to replace the wiring that we already have. But we're not going to do anything with the ground wire. And you know, when I say that, it might sound very dangerous to do that or something like that. But this system has been running for 30 years uh, without a ground wire. And I feel like if we replace it now, it's gonna take a lot of work. If we want to replace it now, we'd have to either snake it through the drain, I mean through the pipe, and into the house, which is a lot of work, or we'd have to dig it through, which is just way too much work for if we can just use the two, the two live wires. But anyway, we're going to use this bundle of wire to replace the wiring that we already have, and we're going to just do nothing with the third wire, which is the ground wire. Unfortunately, uh, I have to go somewhere, so I won't be able to uh, do it today. And also, it's getting dark and rainy, so we probably couldn't end up doing it, uh, doing it either way. But what's gonna happen is my dad is going to replace the wiring and we'll probably come back later and talk about it. Or maybe Izami will, since he's the one who's heading this video. All right, see you then. So as you can see here, we've cut off the old part of the wire and then we've replaced it with the new part of the wire. And how we did that was, like I showed you before, we took the little connector thing and connect the two ends of the wire. Um, and then we we put the rubber, or, or the heat plastic onto the end. And then we clamped the metal down on the wire so it'd be tight. And then we slid the heat, what is this called? From heat shrinking tube onto the wire. And then we used a lighter to heat it up. Usually you wanna use something that can create more heat, but we didn't have uh, much tools at the time, so we just set up for a lighter. And so we heated it, and then it shrunk a little bit, and then it it oozed the sort of liquid that sealed the holes at the end to create a tight seal because we don't want water leaking into this. And we'll show you later like how we actually did it. But right now, we just need to make sure that there's continuity in the wires. So we'll do that with our ometer. So if there's continuity, it'll beep. So let's test it. <clears throat> yep. So as you can see, it's a continuous circuit, so the wire works. And what we're gonna need to do next is now we're going to have to secure the wire to the edge of the hose using tape, because if we let it uh, run around freely, then it will rub against the wall, it will rub against the hose, and that will erode the side of the wire and, cause it, and can cause it to break like the problem we just had. 